Hi guys, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now I'm going to alter these spoons and these came from B&M. They were $2.49 a pack um, and um, I just want to alter them. I like them because they're a slightly different shape to um, some spoons that you kind of um, see sort of more commonly. Now what I'm going to do is to take this tag off and also take this little sort of strip off here. Excuse the paint on my hands, I'm just down the craft room. Um, so I'm going to take that off now. Okay, so now what I've done is painted them over the top with the Annie Sloan original paint um, and as I can see, I've just given them two coats just to you know make sure they're completely covered. I'm not worried about the two sort of lumpy bumpy bits because um, we can sand those off and now what I'm going to do is to decoupage them with a napkin. And what I'm going to do is to decorate them with this napkin. Now this came from eBay. Okay, so what you want to do is just have a look at the napkin and kind of roughly see what part of the design that you want on the spoon. Now you can go the whole the way over like that. So you can literally cover from top to bottom if you want to, um, all the way, which I think we will do maybe with the middle spoon. Um, and then with these, I'll just pull out some sort of flowers and go around that way. dry now and what I'm going to do is to take off the edges using just a nail file that's all you need just a standard normal nail file like that um, so I'm just trying to find one that I haven't used so these are the ones I keep down the craft room what we're going to do is we're going to get the nail file and we're just going to pull it away like that and what that does is it just rips and separates the edge away from the spoon like that and as you can see, it just leaves a nice edge there and you just go all the way around, sort of going down as you go, just to keep the edges nice and straight. Okay, so I'm just going to go around them all now. So what I'm going to do now is just put some of these little bows on the spoons. Now, what I'm going to do is hang them upside down. So if depending which way around you're going to have your spoons up, then it, you know which depends which way you're going to decorate them so i'm going to have them hanging upside down so i'm just going to pop some bows you can put on anything you like you don't have to put bows on it just depends you know what kind of design you're looking for so i'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of glue on the bottom part and stick the bows on there and then what i'm going to do is put some of these little flowers with like a ribbon that goes round, so it just looks like part of uh, it's part of the leaf, and I'm going to pop that on top. But again, you can just do whatever you want and whatever you feels right for your design. Now, if you want to, you can just like shabby chic the um, the edges. So this part here, you can get your um, sander. And just sort of sand the edges down if you're not going to do anything with that then i would go over it with a layer of mod podge in any case because um it will need protecting in um some form so varnish or mod podge or something so just get rid of that glue gun balance that on there so now what i'm going to do is to get some ribbon now this is just some normal 
um, cream or white ribbon or whatever it is you've got. Now, so depending what colour scheme you do will depend what ribbon colour you want. I'll just poke that through there. It's stuck on a bit of glue, I think. I'll just do the same one with the small one. Now you can, you know, like glue them together if you want them to sit dead still. Um, but I don't mind if sort of mine fall, I don't think. I'm going to see how they how they fit. I mean, mine are a little bit distressed around the edge. But I'm not worried about sort of doing it too much. If you struggle to get them through, you can kind of get some scissors or something and just poke poke them through like that. So once you're at that stage, you need to work out how much ribbon you want at the top. And you know how you're going to tie it so I'll just tie it like into maybe maybe I should have given myself a bit more because I could have done that into a bow but I've not got enough there so I'll just cut it at a bit of an angle like that and the same with that one there we go. And that is it. And then here we go. Here are the finished spoons. So I'm really pleased with the finished look. Again, you can use whatever colour scheme, whatever napkins or decorations that you like um, to go with your um, home decor. So thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.